All right, the next type of problems are plug-in problems. Uh, these are the ones where you just plug in. I don't really know where to, to go with that. Um, the first one I'm going to look at is number 51. These are the easiest problems on Earth. The only thing you have to remember how to do is when you do plug them in, put the parentheses just around the number and then just stab the answer in there. So this is what's x squared minus 2x plus 2. Let's see if I can get in a little closer without totally messing it up. When x is equal to negative 3. So I'm going to put parentheses type in negative 3 and square minus 2 parentheses negative 3 plus 2. I'm just going to hit enter and I get 17 so there's your answer. Now the problem with this one is, hold on one second, if you do something ridiculous like this. On this one, I did not plug the negative 3 in parentheses, so I just wrote it out, and you get the wrong answer every time. You cannot afford to make that kind of mistake on a statewide exam. It's just there's too many questions that are going to be hard that you won't remember how to do for you to miss that kind of question. So don't be lazy or ridiculous, and make sure that you plug it into the parentheses. Now, another type that we need to look at is number 35. Here it is. Which ordered pair represents the solution for the systems of equations? Let's see if I can get a better focus on this. It's good for a second, then it goes away. It's not terrible. 2.5x uh, plus 7.5y equals 75, and x plus y equals 12. Now, the second one is meaningless, because all you have to do is, for x plus y, you just have to look at the two numbers and see if they're equal to 12. Well, all of them do, so this is kind of meaningless. This is the one that matters. The thing you have to be careful about is remembering that x and y are represented here. So you want to make sure that you make a little note to yourself that these are the x's and these are the y's. That way they're easy to plug in. So for the first one, wherever x was, I'm going to plug in a 3. And wherever um, y was, I'm going to plug in a 9, just like this. I'm going to hit Enter. It gives me 75, and that's exactly what it's supposed to give me. And I'll do another one real fast just so you can see that the other one doesn't work. That way it's not just some shell game. See, if I do it the other way, it gives me 45. So this is my correct answer. All I have to do is make sure I plug the x in where the x goes, inside the parentheses, and y where the y goes. The last type is number 50. That's why I left it here. Um, the thing about this is there are two separate answers. Negative 6 and 2 are different answers. The problem is this has x and so does this. So that means you need to do this problem twice. There's actually two ways to do this problem. The first is to just graph it. You can graph any of the x squares, and it gives you the answer very simply. x squared uh, plus x minus 12, and I'll graph it. You can see it crosses at plus 3, and it also crosses at negative 4. That's the answer right there. Now. The other way you could do it is you can plug it in, which a lot of you might be more comfortable with, and I'm fine with that. But the thing that applies is that you don't type in negative 4 squared and then go in and put 3 in there. That is wrong. So no, because these are both x's. So you have to plug in the same thing for both of them. So you go in where that plus x is and put parentheses and do minus 4, just like this. Then hit enter, and you get 0, which is exactly what you're supposed to get. Test the other one as well. Just like that, and you get 0, just like you're supposed to. So either way. Now, the big problem for you to work is in the other book, which, of course, I'll lay down over here very inconveniently. Number 58, which values make this equation true? x squared minus 5x minus 24 equals 0. Is it negative 8 and 3? Is it six and four, negative 6 and 4? Is it 4 and negative 6? Or is it negative 3 and 8? I'm going to try to pull this out so you can actually see the problem. Let me do a refocus and see if that works. It's kind of buggy today. So just so you can tell, this is a negative 8. So see if you can get the right answer. One and a half minutes. Go.